Main man made man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing, man. You know, one fight that I have yet to talk about is that the rumored upcoming fight between Anthony Joshua and Vladimir Klitschko. I haven't even discussed the situation at all. Now, we hear news coming out that the WBA has now basically got behind the fight and say they will sanction a fight between Anthony Joshua and Vladimir Klitschko sometime next spring. They are fully on board with allowing these two fighters to fight for the WBA super title in which one of the winners of this fight will become a unified champion given that Anthony Joshua currently has the IBF heavyweight title. Now, that's all cool. You know what I'm saying? This also depends on the outcome. If Anthony Joshua in his next fight, he will be facing Eric Molina in December. Depending on the outcome of that fight is then the plans can go forward between the Klitschko and Joshua fight. Now, you know, I have some pretty, pretty smart subscribers, man. I look at my comment section all the time. I learn a lot from my subscribers. I want to give a hats off to all of my subscribers. And I want to say y'all are awesome, man. So I have a question. And I maybe I should have researched this myself. But y'all are some good boxing minds. And I'm hoping that y'all can help me out with this. The thing I have about this situation is we understand that... Uh, uh, Tyson Fury, who beat Vladimir Klitschko for all of his titles, right, took all of the titles off Klitschko and in which them two had a rematch clause in which Klitschko gets first crack back at Tyson Fury and get a shot at his titles again. Very understandable, right? The paperwork was in order. That's just the way things go. Now, this is where I don't understand it, and maybe someone can help me because the WBA has all these fucked up rules. Maybe it's something I'm overlooking. You know, what I don't understand, given now that Vladimir Klitschko, right, is not facing Tyson Fury, how the fuck is it, since he lost, how does he get the first strike back at the WBA super title. You, ha you got Lucas Brown, who is the WBA regular champion, right? The WBA now orders him to face Shannon the Cannon Briggs on the undercard of the Joshua and Molina fight. So he will be fighting Shannon Briggs, right? Oh, and I, I don't know if it's on the undercard of the Joshua fight. I know they, they're supposed to fight before December 31st. That's all I do know. And he is going to be fighting Shannon Briggs, right? And hats off to Shannon Briggs for that because David Hay did some pussy shit with Shannon Briggs. And I'm glad to see Briggs get himself a good fight. But why isn't Lucas Brown getting the first crack at the WBA super title, given that Tyson Fury didn't have any kind of agreements in place to say, oh, well, you know, if I'm fighting anyone else other than Tyson Fury, I still get first crack at the title. How does he get first crack at the damn super title when he just lost it? And there's no rematch clause in, in, in place. He's fighting another fighter for the title. How does that happen? How does not Lucas Brown get elevated from the WBA regular champion and should be fighting for this WBA super title you know why isn't he fighting for it especially since the wba said the winner of shannon briggs and lucas brown will then have a mandatory they will have an immediate mandatory so if that is the case why isn't lucas brown getting a shot at the wba super title over vladimir klitschko he's he's the next guy in line we heard that the WBA had ordered a fight between Lucas Brown and Vladimir Klitschko in which Vladimir Klitschko got an injury, right? He got an injury and he didn't want to have that fight. This is all bullshit. I personally believe that Vladimir Klitschko, the WBA, as well as the Anthony Joshua camp, all knew what the fucking outcome was going to be. This is all to just build up the fight just a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Because Anthony Joshua now signed an exclusive deal with Showtime. So his next few fights are going to be televised on Showtime. And... Clearly, they're trying to build him up amongst the American audience. You know, they thought they did a little something, something when he defeated Charles Martin, taking the IBF title off the American champion, Charles Martin. You know what I'm saying? But clearly, they're trying to build the profile of Anthony Joshua a bit more amongst the American fan base. And we all know who fucking Vladimir Klitschko is, right? So that's clearly what they're trying to do here. And I, in my opinion, I think that they already knew what the outcome was going to be. But, and this is the reason you got the fucking injury from Klitschko. But whatever, you know what I'm saying? 
Klitschko claims he just loves this WBA super title. He just wants that so much. So I thought him and Lucas Brown was respectable, given that he would have to fight for that title and not be given basically an opportunity to win that. Like those two would have fought for that title, and then he could have took that title and went on to defend. Not get thrown, you, you, you get your ass whooped, and in your very next fight, you're in a unification match with another champion. And then if you win, you win two belts. What kind of corrupt, fraud sounding ass shit is this? Maybe it's something I'm overlooking. I don't like it, man. I just don't fucking like it. I was cool with the fact that he would have fought for those titles against Tyson Fury because the rematch clause was there. But in this particular case, the WBA is just fucking picking and choosing. And they overlooked Lucas Brown and put him in there with Shannon Briggs. And if he beats Shannon Briggs, he'll be tied up with the Mando. You know what I'm saying? And fucking Vladimir Klitschko is just going to be skating off into the fucking sunset onto a title, a unification match. I, something to me in this whole picture just doesn't sound right. And I could be off. I will re keep reiterating that. I could be wrong here, but... Something just doesn't fucking sound right to me, man. I just don't understand how they did this thing, man. But I'm not feeling that shit. If if that's the case, I'm just not feeling it. But at the end of the day, it's if these two do get to a fight, I mean, I'm going to watch it. It's going to be a big fight, no doubt about it. But I don't give a fuck which one of these dudes win it. Both, you know, whichever one of these guys win it and they unify, I will say this. In my opinion, and on this channel, the heavyweight champion of the world still, and until he is beaten, will be Tyson Fury. Call it whatever the fuck you want. Feel however the fuck you want. Tyson Fury on Main Man Made Man's channel will be recognized as the heavyweight champion and until he's defeated. And that's just how I see things. So here's another thing. What if Tyson Fury decides to step back into the ring sometime early next year is Tyson Fury gonna get the winner of this particular fight could Tyson Fury derail this particular fight given that him and Klitschko had a rematch clause in place I know Tyson Fury he's called out Anthony Joshua in the past as well but could Tyson Fury step back out and ruin the plans of this particular fight is the question I have to ask because he's been granted special status when he comes back he gets a shot at his titles so my thing is what if Furious decides to come back and fights next spring will he get first crack at that WBA super title it could happen this is boxing this is a lot of all the crazy shit that's going on in boxing it can happen but I just don't understand that man you know and I'm, I'm hoping some of my subscribers can kind of answer that for me maybe I'm off like I said before but I, I just I'm kind of curious about that why did they kind of overlook Lucas Brown and go straight to Klitschko? Like, how does Klitschko lose? I mean, and lost by a wide margin and then gets in his very next fight a unification match. I I don't understand it. Y'all can try to spin it any fucking kind of way you want. I, that shit is bullshit. I ain't, that shit is bullshit. You don't lose and then get thrown into a fucking unification match. You get thrown into a rematch. But not a unification match. But whatever the fuck. I don't want to bitch about it too much. But I'm just kind of curious about that. I hate to see fighters get fucked over, man. Real talk. So that's just my feeling on it. So can somebody answer that? I'd be very much appreciative. You know what I'm saying? To the next video, Main Man Made Man. Don't forget to subscribe. Twitter, Made Man 511. Facebook, Main Man Made Man Boxing Forum. Google Plus, Main Man Made Man. And also on Instagram, uh, Main Man Made Man. You know, I, I just don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. Lucas Brown is a good fighter, man. And that him and Shannon Briggs fight is going to be a real good fight. But uh, I would honestly, in my opinion, prefer to have seen Lucas Brown and Klitschko because to me, it would have just made everything right in the boxing world. Not put Klitschko in a fucking unification match. I ain't feeling it. But whatever. To the next video. Peace out.